Hello fellow DIYers, David here with Dave T. Pilot Innovations. I wanted to share with you what I came up with for my hot wire foam cutter. It looks a little crazy and alien. Um, a lot of times when I build things, I try to use what I already have available without having to buy anything else. So I went through a couple of different um, designs and this is what I came up with. Two threaded rods, happen to have those in the shop. Uh, I just simply drilled some holes and I added some threaded inserts that go in. I put them at a bit of, bit of an angle and I hammered them in. And then I screwed the inserts down. And while I'm on the bottom here, I'll show you that that makes a really good connection to the threaded rod. So I went ahead and wired up my power to the rods this way. And I decided to put a momentary push button. This is like a doorbell type button. And it's momentary. You push it and release it, push it and release it as many times as you want. And uh, the reason I did that is because I didn't see any point in just leaving that wire hot all the time. Um, just it heats up so fast why not just turn on a switch heat it up and then when you let it go that way you're not putting it down with a hot wire or risk of burning yourself or burning something um, and it works really really well so for the cutting wire I'm using nichrome wire and it was really inexpensive it was about six dollars for 30 feet online and I'm only using five volts and I thought I was gonna have to use higher voltage um, with the nichrome wire but 5 volts works great so no point in using the 12 volts what a lot of people use I used the 5 volts initially because I was trying it with a guitar string like some people do but the guitar string kept um, burning up real fast it just didn't work well for me maybe I was using the wrong type of string I was using a solid steel string but it still burnt up real fast with just 5 volts so I went with the nichrome wire it was really inexpensive supposed to last a long time so this is just some PVC pipe. This is a uh, half inch C PVC. It's what I had in the shop. And this is a big spring that I had bought for a different project that I ended up not using. And I just basically bent the spring around like that in a U shape. And of course it wants to, it wants to uh, straighten this way, which puts tension on the wire. Um, the, the board itself will spring a little to help put tension on that wire because what I do is I, I pull these things together as hard as I can and just wrap the wire around and just just like that just wrap it around a few times and then twist it and then stick one in through the little hole piece of cake um, so this does flex as you can see flexes a little like that see and then the spring keeps tension on it keeps it nice and tight it works fantastic I use the uh, computer power supply like I showed you on the other video you may have seen so let me just show you how it works. Turn on the power supply. And right now it's cold because I don't have the button pushed. Have some styrofoam. Watch how fast it heats up. Push the button. And it's ready to cut. Piece of cake. I'll let the button go. The wire cools off almost instantly. I wouldn't touch it now because I don't trust it, but uh, yeah. So there it is. Real easy, inexpensive, and it works. <laughs>